welcome back to Daily Doodle. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This is a recreation of one of my favorite paintings. This is called Eva Moon by Thomas Deere. So this is a little bit of a different take on it. I would say mine's not as detailed as the original. But you know, hey, we're just having fun out here. So here we go. So I lost some of the footage on this video, so if it jumps, that's why. So here we go, laying down the color. A lot of great painters call Hawaii home, and it's no wonder. It's beautiful here. Large crashing waves, intense mountains, and greens that you've never seen anywhere else. I'm originally from Utah and for some reason, I don't know why, but not many people or not as many people are motivated to paint desert scenes as ocean scenes. My wife just brought up a good point. She got pretty passionate when I was talking about the desert scenes versus the oceanscapes and she said, why can't you just enjoy where you're at at the time? And you know, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, in Utah, I never even thought of being a painter, but as soon as I came to Hawaii, instantly, I just wanted to paint what I see. So I guess if you can take anything away from this painting, it's just to enjoy the beauty where you're at and rethink what beauty is. Beauty is different for everybody and it can be found on any part of the globe or in the depths of your mind. Now we're getting a little bit hippy dippy, but hey guys, it's all part of the ride. Hopefully you guys don't mind me mixing it up a little bit with a painting instead of my typical drawings. But you know what? As an artist, I'll be honest with you, I typically I would say 90% of the time I just do drawings and I love drawing with pens and having a, a bit of a cartoon style but painting it op opens up a whole new dimension and you feel color in a totally different way. So if you are maybe just into illustrating with pens or you know maybe you're strictly painter, just a painter then I would say try out a different art style, kind of mix it up. Especially if you feel as if you're stuck in a rut. It could help you kind of feel your art in a different way and get a different feel for it. Me personally, I'll be honest with you, like I said, painting really opened up a whole new world for me in the way that I look at things. And typically when you're drawing, you're drawing in, I usually just draw in in like a notepad and then I end up losing the notepad so when you do a painting you actually have something that you can show for your work so I don't know just give it a thought I'm gonna talk to the newbies for a second if you're watching this and you personally have never done a painting yourself let me tell you it is not as hard as you think and it's relatively easy to get into and it can be inexpensive. Me personally, the paints that I use, I got them all at Walmart very cheaply. You can buy a canvas and there's any, there's a wide range of canvases and pretty much anything to fit your budget. They go as low as $5 and for maybe $10 to $15 you could get started painting. Now, if you just like watching videos of painters and you don't like painting yourself, that's fine too. I mean, you guys are welcome to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot of more content coming out for you guys. But I definitely would advise everybody to try to find new ways to express themselves. And art is just one of the many ways that you can do this. 
So even if you don't think that you're an artist, rethink what's possible for yourself and open up some new doors. That just about wraps up this painting. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this and go ahead and check out some of the other videos I have on my channel. I have a lot of other art videos and some other travel videos. So stick around a little while friends. And hey, you can make a masterpiece too. Just keep at it and draw every day.